Hi, I'm Maggie. I work with a lot of teachers who are just getting started in biotechnology. One of the biggest complaints I hear from teachers who are trying to do electrophoresis in their classrooms is that the equipment is really difficult to use with their students. I also hear a lot of complaints about how long it takes to run a gel in class. Today I'm going to show you the Mini One system, and this is a great system because it solves those two very problems. The Mini One system is both simple to use and it also runs a quick gel. And in order to demonstrate the time saving um, features of the Mini One, I'm going to start a stopwatch here. Our first thing that we're going to need to do in our lab today is we're going to actually pour a gel. To do this, we're going to be using the Mini One's gel cups. I'm going to ask my assistant here to please microwave our gel cups. The gel cups come pre measured to pour a gel specifically for use with the Mini One system. It contains agarose and the green, gel green DNA stain. To pour, we'll be using our casting tray that's included in our Mini One system. The casting tray allows you to pour two gels simultaneously, and you can choose between six wells and nine wells. The gel cups take only approximately 20 seconds to microwave. Once they've been microwaved, thank you. You can simply swirl and pour into your casting tray. I'm going to make note of our time now so we can keep track of how long this takes. While we are allow our gel to solidify, I'll show you a few of the other features of the Mini One system. This is the gel box. The gel box contains a, tr a platform in which to put your gel and the electrodes. You'll notice that if I try to place my gel box into my power supply incorrectly, it won't fit. There's only one right weight to put it in. So students can't accidentally set up their gel with the electrodes in the wrong direction. The power supply is very simple. There's simply an on-off switch, but you'll notice this on-off switch doesn't work unless I have my top and my um, gel box filled with my um, running buffer. So there are a lot of great safety features built into the Mini One system. Today's lab will be running a Mini One um, kit called the DNA fingerprinting kit. In this fingerprinting kit, we're going to be helping Luna, a humpback whale, determine which of the three possible males could be her father. I'm going to let my gel solidify for a few minute, more minutes and we'll check back in. This process should take us only between five and ten minutes. And it's been about eight minutes since we poured our gel and our gel is solidified and we're ready to actually begin to set up our apparatus and load our, dot, load our gel. So I'm going to simply remove our comb and then lift our gel tray out of the casting tray. Now sometimes you'll notice a little of the gel will actually go underneath the tray and I can just simply peel that off and dispose of that. Then I'll place my gel into my gel box and then I'm going to add my running buffer. This is a sodium borate running buffer that is provided for you with the kits. It comes as a 20x and then you can dilute it to 1x. So I'm going to carefully make sure that I fill both reservoirs of my gel box and that I have a layer of running buffer covering my gel. Once I've done that, I'm going to actually be able to use one of my favorite features of the Mini One setup, which is I'm going to turn on one of the low lights and this is going to give me a nice contrast with the back of my gel so that I can see my wells and visualize for loading. So I'll begin loading the samples here. With this gel light for the loading process, I found that even novice students are able to successfully load a gel. I'll start by loading Luna, our cat DNA, and then her mother's DNA.
These samples come ready to run and already have our loading die. Once I've loaded all of my samples, I'll be able to run my gel. This gel will run for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to make note of our time here. So we're at 11 minutes and 36 seconds. And I've already poured and loaded my gel. At this point, I'm ready to start running my gel, so I'm going to place the top on my gel box. I'm going to press the power button. Once I've done that, I'll see a green light come on. You'll notice that if I remove my top, the green light will go off because my power note will no longer be running, so this is another nice safety feature and I'll be able to run my gel here for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. Because I have the blue light here, and I also have the filter of my top, I'll be able to visualize my DNA as it runs. I don't want to leave my light on the whole time though because I can photo bleach my DNA sample. So I'm going to turn my light off at this point and check back in a few minutes on the progress of my DNA. So our gel has been running for only about three minutes now, but already I can see some movement of the DNA. So if I turn on my highlight here, remember this is just a blue light. There's no UV light to worry about. And I can use a mobile device or a camera, and because of the fact that this has been designed so that it's a perfect focal length to get a good image of my gel, I can take a picture to document the process, the movement of the gel. So our gel's been running for about 25 minutes and we're ready to stop and take our final picture. So I'm going to turn on my light one last time and take my camera. And document the results. Students will be able to use this image to analyze their results or they could also visualize the results directly using the mini lens system. So to recap our time, about one minute after we started our experiment, we were able to pour our gel. And just 11 minutes later, we were able to finish loading. And here at 38 minutes, we've completed our gel. We've actually documented it multiple times and been able to look at our data to be able to analyze it in less than 40 minutes. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and that you're able to see why I like the Mini One system so much. I really do think it solves many of the problems encountered by teachers as they try to incorporate gel electrophoresis and biotechnology into their courses.